everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. We're going to Prada's new cafe at Harrods and also I'll show you Chelsea Bloom installations. Okay, so I'm looking for an entrance to Prada's new cafe and I think it's where La Durée used to be. Um, yeah, I think it's over there. Yep. I see the famous pistachio green color. So that's the entrance. Um, let me show you the window display, okay? So they have pastries on display. We're gonna try some of them today. Um, look at this. They're so expensive, but I really wanna try it. Inside the new Prada's Cafe at Harrods, you'll find brand's signature black and white checkered flooring, elegant velvet sofas in the pale green and black marble tables. The design of this place was inspired by Prada's bar Luce in Milan, and bar Luce was designed by iconic filmmaker Wes Anderson. All the tableware is original and exclusive. I heard that some people are stealing cutlery and plates, like it's crazy, don't do that. Here they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. I saw travedzini, sandwiches on the menu and pizzettas, mini puff pizzas as well. Also you can see the patisseries and desserts displayed on the grand central counter and back wall. This beautiful glazed sponge cakes with Prada Milano logo on top, they're available in different flavors lemon, apricot, hazelnut, strawberry, pistachio and janduja. If you don't know what janduja is, it is like Nutella but 100 times better. Also, let me tell you a secret. If you don't know this, uh, this pastry is made by Marchese. Prada owns Marchese, they bought them in 2014 and they opened Marchese Patisserie here in London in 2019. So in case you won't be able to make it here this year, you can always visit Marchese in Mayfair. You need to make a reservation, but there's a range of pastries and praliness on sale for takeaway throughout the day. Also, they're planning to have an ice cream stall just outside of the entrance over the summer, offering gelatas and sorbets. So this cafe will be here until 7th of January 2024. So as always, you have plenty of time to visit if you want. And you'll find the entrance by door 2 at the back of the store where Basil Street and Hans Road meet. Guys, I just love the contrast of my life. Yesterday I spent my morning in the garden, I was all covered in mud, and today I'm having breakfast in Prada's cafe. The next day I went to the hair salon, to my favorite Martin to get the haircut done and I know usually people bring photos of celebrities or bloggers, I brought photos of myself <laughs> from 2016. So basically I asked for the same haircut I had before. So what do you think guys? I'm so happy. I lost so much hair last year due to stress because of the war in Ukraine. I was so stressed and I don't know, it just didn't look right. And now there's so much volume. I love it. And by the way, Martin is back to work. Some of you asked me about him and he's back to Harris Salon, so make sure to book your haircut. And then it was Monday, the first day of Chelsea in Bloom, annual floral art show and largest free festival in London. I started my day with lavender green flowers on the King's Road for the launch of For the Love of Flowers immersive floral experience to celebrate the start of summer. We had delicious breakfast and corsage masterclass.
I spotted a couple of displays on King's Road. The theme is film on flowers, so try to guess the movie. So that's the first event of the day is done. Now I'm off to V&A Museum for the photography exhibition opening and then we're gonna go to Chelsea in Rome. Also on my way to V&A Museum I found this gorgeous display by Edgerton House Hotel. V&A Museum has one of the largest and most important photography collections in the world. Across seven galleries, the center showcases objects from the beginnings of photography to the present day. Chelsea in Bloom is not the only one floral festival. Belgravia has one too. And as I was nearby, I went to Modcom Street to see their creations. The theme for this year is Into the Wild. And again, as many of you asked before, these are all real flowers. Chelsea in Bloom is on till 28th of May, with displays on Sloan Square, Sloan Street, Pavilion Road, King's Road, Duke of York Square. You can actually download a map with all the displays so you won't miss anything. And as I said before, the theme for this year is flowers on film, so let me know how many movies did you guess. After a long walk, we went to the Sloan place for lunch and I think it was the best meal I had this month. We loved everything we tried, so I can recommend this restaurant for you too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Bye. Round around. Oh, I want you now. Now now. The world is spinning around. Round around. And I want you now. And I want you now. And I want you now.